Morning everyone, I wanted to do a really quick video. Um, I wanted to talk about something really important um, and it's about your marketing and how you bring leads into your business, okay? So if bringing leads into your business is important to you, then I want you to, um, to stay on this video and watch. Um, so look, the last couple of days I've been a bit really busy. I've been running around. I haven't had time to do as many videos as I normally would. And I've had brought on, brought on board a few new clients and I've had my coaching call with my coaches. And, and I've just sort of sat back here to sort of reflect on things, to just really revisit why we're doing what we're doing, right? And I wanted to share with you guys about you know, how, what the videos are for me in my business, okay? So, um, I rely on mostly an organic strategy, okay, to bring leads into my business, okay? I'm interested in how do I inspire the people who are already in my networks to reach out to me and say, hey, I'd like to talk to you about my idea, okay? So that means I've got 5,000 people on Facebook, uh, 12,000 people on LinkedIn, um, a thousand people on Instagram and I think there's about a hundred people on Twitter <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's happening on there it's like really slow going or really hard work anyway so my goal is to have those people reach see inspiration for themselves and to uh, basically know me and my brand okay that's really my main objective um, and so even if I look at you know my commitment to do that is actually to do a video every day that's 20 videos a month and so I worked out the other week I get paid essentially to do the videos because by the time I've done them and clients come out of the woodwork, it ends up being around a thousand dollars a video, or if not, at least two two fifty. You know, sometimes clients come in, sometimes they don't. But on average, it works out to be really. Um, I'm essentially being paid to do it. But it's actually bigger than that because I actually love doing them. Like I, I found. It's easy for me in the morning, like that's the best time for me to share from my heart something that's important to me and to give out tons of value, okay? So for me, I, that's why I keep doing them. I love doing them. I get a lot of fun and enjoyment out of them. I'm willing to risk looking stupid because like people might be looking and say, what is she doing over there? Um, and it brings in clients and that makes me really happy. I get to serve my clients. All right, so, um, so that's number one, right? And so then the second way of bringing in new leads is actually using Facebook advertising. Now, I'll admit, Facebook advertising is not one of my favorite things. I mean, I don't like spending money necessarily if I know I'm not gonna get a return. I mean, you know, as you guys know, I'm in marketing. Um, but it really comes down to what are you willing to pay to acquire a new lead into your business, okay? So when people are first starting out, they have to test a lot of different things. All right, so that means they might be putting in a dollar and may not be getting that a dollar back out. And from what I've observed with my clients and the people around me and the people who are doing this for their clients is that people will give up. They don't see immediate results. Like they might try one or two campaigns and then throw their hands up and they go, oh, it doesn't work. And they're not willing to put in the effort to actually have it working. Now, I'm working with a client in Sydney at the moment um, and we're now fine-tuning his front-end campaigns. I mean, he's now hitting $70,000 a month with what he's doing. And it's really exciting because when we put a dollar into Facebook, we know statistically that we're gonna have a certain percentage will reach out, a certain percentage will become paying clients, and then a certain percentage will actually join his workshops. So every time we put a dollar in, we know we're going to get a dollar eighty out, if that makes sense. But it's taken like nine months to get to that point. It's not something that comes out overnight. So I really just wanted to share with you guys this: the organic strategies, which is actually just giving out tons of value. And really, people, some people will just take the videos and they'll run and they'll go off with that and they'll be great. And then other people will become paying clients. And then when you start doing paid advertising, it really comes down to fine tuning this machine so that a certain percentage of people see possibility and buy from you. And I really wanted you guys to get real. I wanted you guys to think that unless you sort this out, unless you get your online marketing sorted out and you're serious about business in 2016, that's keeping your doors open and having clients continue to come and buy your um, products and services, 
this is going to be something that you're going to want to sort out. Like having people come to you f from these these channels is something that you're going to have to work out. You're going to have to master it. Um, otherwise, you'll just be relying on your own networks forever. And I just really wanted to share that the other thing that was important to me was to actually be real in my marketing. Like, I, I didn't want anything staged. I didn't want anything salesy. I didn't want any of that stuff. I just wanted to be real. And that's why, you know, for me, this works for me, but it may not work for other people. Like, I don't really know. I mean, with some of the clients I'm working with, we're curate, curating their brands very carefully. And that's really exciting. Like one of them, we're putting down a forty million dollar plan for him. Um, so, so yeah, I just really wanted to share that, guys. And I really wanted, <laughs> I just want to say one other thing. There's a couple of people that are on my wall um, who are putting out some videos as well. Like even some friends of mine, and they're just, they're, they're in the Jeunesse space or not Jeunesse. They could be selling Jeunesse. Yeah, I think it is Jeunesse. And they go. One of the girls, she does her videos. She's in the gym and she's on the treadmill and she's she's spinning around on the machine and she's going, oh, I love my life and if you want to find out how, come and um, talk to me. And it's kind of like, guys, don't just do a video and spew anything out and not add any value. Only put a video together if you've got something to say that's important, that's offering tons and tons of value. Um, and he's going to add to people's lives. Do not put out a video of you on a treadmill going, you know, come and I'm living the dream. It just doesn't work. It looks weird. And you, you need to sort that stuff out. Um, but yeah, that's all I want to share with you guys. Um, I'm going to pick this up again tomorrow because I've got more that I want to share. Um, I just haven't been able to finish it. I want to talk about the importance of a blog and how the blog.